It's chilly in Paris. Welcome to Versailles. It's a dream to be here. I just want to say that I was seriously obsessed with the movie and life story of Marie Antoinette. I booked our visit from the Versailles website, which was super easy to use. So from the airport, we rushed to our Paris hotel for a quick change and then headed out to ride the RERC line to Versailles, except that the station was closed on the very day we had to visit. So I panicked for about 30 minutes until we found a taxi and paid 40 euros. The palace is amazing. Can you believe this was someone's home in some year? I forgot which year. Marie Antoinette may be calling. <laughs> Wait. Hi MTV, welcome to my crib. What do you think about the palace? It's very nice. Could live here? You could live here. Live here? I don't <laughs> think you're allowed to live here. So we managed to skim through the main rooms of the 680,000 square feet chateau. I was practically speechless in this video and I had no other words in my vocabulary to describe the palace. The Versailles booking site would tell you to visit as early as 8 a.m. to avoid the crowds, but we are the epitome of tourists and we like rubbing elbows with strangers, so this is a classic example right here of expectation versus reality. Not rain a single bit, right, babe?
Did you hear that? We're officially tired. So we've been seeing a lot of cats. There's one beautiful cat we'll show you a photo of. She won't come near us, but she's a sight to see. So majestic. We are not even done with the garden. It's not so cold here. I mean, it's chilly, but it's you don't have to wear gloves or anything. I think we'll be done with the gardens in two days. See ya! of the day but don't tell anyone even if you come late you can still get out as late as 7 p.m. and there would still be much light to see everywhere else in the chateau